Welcome to Nguyen Nam Podcast Channel. The bubonic plague, or Black Death, was unleashed in 1348 by the humble rat flea. The plague decimated the people of Europe and before the connection was made between the plague and rats. Half of all Europeans, by some estimates 40 or 50 million, suffered an unspeakably gruesome death. In the wake of such horrors, Europe's long obsession with rat dogs is understandable. Fanciers in Renaissance times bred a generous assortment of ratters that reflected regional differences, but always with the ingenuity of artfulness typical of the age. The British were famous for their terriers, the Germans for the badger dog or dachshund. In the region now called the Low Countries, Belgium, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands, the champion ratter was the tough and tireless ancestor of the modern skipper key. The demand for ratting canines has diminished, but the instinct has never left the breed. Bred in Flanders, the Dutch-speaking northern portion of Belgium, the Skipperkey descended from the black sheepdog known as the Lovenar. The Belgian sheepdog is also a descendant of this now extinct dog breed. While the sheepdog was gradually bred to be larger, the Skipperkey was bred down in size to eventually become a different breed entirely. At the time, it was a popular choice among peasants who were restricted in the size of dogs they could keep. It is probable that the breed began as a farm dog and was discovered by the women and barge captains of Antwerp and Brussels, who sought a compact but formidable watchdog. In Flemish, the word ship means boat, which is where this breed received their name. Because skipperkeys were ratters on the canal barges and often the captain's dog, they earned the nickname Little Captain and Little Skipper. As a result of their history, the breed does very well on boats. They make a great guard dog when the boat anchors for the night, alerting you of anything out of the ordinary. Despite their size, they possess a healthy bark, which can be a bit surprising and unexpected to a stranger. An excellent and faithful watchdog, the Skipperkey was used as a guard on barges, as well as by shopkeepers for many years. As a protector of homes, shops, and family, Skipperkey possesses a strong sense of loyalty and responsibility to what is his. They are light sleepers and interested in everything around them, this curiosity is what makes for an intelligent and vigilant watchdog. Possessing some of its herding ability from its sheepdog ancestor, the breed was used for herding livestock, hunting game, or simply guarding their domain. The Skipperkey today possesses the same sharp guarding instincts that endeared it to the shoemakers of Brussels, who in 1690 exhibited their faithful little night watchman in what might have been history's first specialty dog show. The Skipperkey's most distinctive feature is the tailless, all-black silhouette. In the folklore of virtually every region of the world occurs the image of a black, tailless dog, usually symbolizing the devil incarnate. The medieval Europe of the little watchdog's birth was rife with such superstitions, and the breed was built along devilish lines to throw the fear of God into intruders. Maybe it was a luckless burglar, or a drunken sailor reeling through the dockyard after midnight, who coined the old breed nickname the Little Black Devil, most likely in fast retreat, and with a sample of the little captain's pulverizing bite freshly embossed on the seat of his pants. The first skipper key in the US wasn't imported until 1888. An active and tireless dog, the skipper key is part of the non-sporting group, and the American Kennel Club recognized the breed in 1904. A specialty club was formed but died out during World War I. It wasn't until 1929 that the Skipperkey Club of America was founded. Since they were bred to work, give a Skipperkey a job to do, whether it's training for agility, obedience, or any other dog sport, and he will excel.